for this problem here, number 23, we look at it. When we look at it here between, we have 7.31 and 7.32 here, and we have the tick marks in between them. And it looks like they're measured, they're measured in a, each one of the tick marks represents a hundredth. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So they're marked off in hundredths. So going back one would be going back one hundredth would make C equal to 73.09 because we went back one hundredth on that to get C. And if I count hundredths in here, I have hundredth so one one, two, three, four. So A that's four. So I count it one, two, three, four. So A would be equal to seventy three. That's starting from one point one there. I count out four hundredths. Seventy three. Okay. So for here we have seventy three. And two twenty. So we go over, up one to get to B. That will make this seventy three point two one. Okay. So that's how you can arrive at it. Like I said before here, when you see that seven seven point one, seventy three point one, you have seventy three point two, and these are marked off in hundreds places to. There's 10 of them here. So these are marked off in hundreds. So if you go back one from 73.10, you go back a hundredth, which would make it 73.09, going back one hundredth. Okay, when we count up ahead, we have 73.11.12.13.14. So I have 73.14 here. That's what's going on with that pro this problem here. So these are my answers.